Hi, I'm Abby and this is BA Beauty. Today I've created this Valentine's Day look for you. By no means am I a fantastic makeup artist. I just thought it'd be fun to do a look for like a Valentine's Day date and this is what I came up with. So I hope you enjoy. Check out these glitter eyes. I start off by taking the Benefit Pore Professional Primer and smoothing it into my pores and all over my face. Then I take the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in W3 Tawny. I take a Real Techniques brush and I stipple that on my face, on my forehead. Then I go in and I get a little more and put it on the other side of my face. I do it in sections so it doesn't dry too fast. Put a little extra over my problem areas my zits, my homies, my friends, and just stipple all that in. Then I go in with the beauty blender and smooth everything out, taking the Tarte Shape Tape in light neutral. And I do some highlighting down the center of my nose, my under eyes, forehead, a little on my chin. Then I go in with the beauty blender and I blend all that in. With the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in Shadow, I contour under my cheeks, my forehead, the sides of my nose, a little along my jawline. Then I just take a MAC brush and blend that in. Then I do a little more blending with the Beauty Blender, and then I go back to the brush Guess I couldn't make up my mind what I wanted to use. So I'm just blending, blend my nose. Next I go in with the RCMA translucent powder and just set my whole face with that. Taking the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, I use it to highlight my nose, the sides of my nose underneath my eyes to really highlight the area and make my nose slimmer. I bring it really close to where I would make the contour lines to slim that area. Then I just blend it out with the Beauty Blender. With the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Power, I just bake that, bake it in. Yeah, bake that cake! Next I go in with the Lorac Pro Contour Palette and I use the light shade and the medium shade and I just mix a little bit together. Did my contour on my cheeks and then on my forehead. Then I took this smaller brush and did it down the sides of my nose. Went a little heavy on that one side. So then I take the Beauty Blender and try to blend it in a little bit before going back in around the tip of my nose and trying to make it look like a little button nose. Then taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I use that to bronze up my face with a big fluffy fan brush. Then taking more of the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I use it to chisel out my contour and bake more under my eyes and by the side of my nose. With the ABH Modern Renaissance palette, I take the color Bon Fresco and I start to work that in my crease. Blend, 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 blend. And work some more in on the other side and blend, 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 blend. With this baby pink matte shade from the NYX Avant Pop palette, I work it on my lid just in the center. Going back to the ABH Modern Renaissance palette, I go in with the color Love Letter, working that on the outer V and up into the crease, and then I just blend it, blend it, blend it, work it in little circles upwards all over the eye and make sure that it's really worked in well. On a little concealer brush, I take some Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer and just clean up the edges of my eyeshadow and make sure that it's a nice straight line. Then I decide to do a little bit more blending before I go in with the Love Letter from the ABH palette, using it to line the lower lash line. 
Then I pick up the NYX glitter glue and I put that on my eyelid as a base for what comes next which is the NYX glitter in rose which is a really pretty light pink shade and I just pack that onto the center of my eyelids. Then going in for more, I just pack some more on the center of the other eyelid. I pack on a lot to make it really thick and glittery and sparkly like a disco ball. I blend it in more with a fluffy blending brush before I go in with this NYX pigment in a really light pink shade and I just put a little bit of that in the inner corners to brighten it up. Since this whole time I've been baking, I take a really big fluffy brush and I just wipe off all the excess translucent powder, blend the contour in a little more before going in with the Milani blush in Luminoso and I just put a little bit of that on my cheek. Realizing I wasn't crazy about Luminoso, I went in with a NARS brush and then I go in with this Tarte Double Duty Eyeliner. One end is a felt tip that I use to line my top lash line and then the other end is a gel like pencil that I use to line my bottom lash line then I blend a little bit more of love letter from the modern renaissance palette on the lower lash line next I have this mascara from GNC called Helen of colors and I work that into my lashes then I have the cover FX custom illuminating drops and I use them to highlight my nose the tops of my cheekbones and then I blend it in with the beauty blender and a little bit of my fingertips. I do the Cupid's bow. I blend that all in really well before going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Cream. And I just work it over where I put cream highlight for an extra pop of highlight. Moving on to lips, I pick up the MAC Lip Liner and Whirl and line my lips. Then I put on one of my favorite liquid lipsticks, Stone by Dose of Colors. Next I take the NYX Lip Lingerie Lipstick in Satin Ribbon and I apply that to the center of my lips to give an ombre effect. That concludes my Valentine's Day look. This was my Valentine's Day look. I hope you enjoyed and like always, give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Is my highlight popping? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like yours is always popping and mine's just like <laughs> And I... That's so dirty. <laughs> that I don't have. <laughs>